After Shrewsbury, the river drops through the Iron Bridge Gorge and swings south. By now, the Severn is flowing at over 60,000 litres of water a second, and although the river's mouth is still over 100 kilometres away, it's only 30 metres above sea level. Surrounded by flat land, floods are a significant threat. In November 2000, heavy rains caused some of the worst flooding since records began. Many rivers, including the Severn, burst their banks, causing widespread disruption and damage. In the past, people have been quite clever about avoiding these disasters. This is Worcester, and the cathedral and the old town are much higher than the rest of the city. That's because they've been built on a river terrace out of reach of the floodwaters. Since then, the town has grown and there's been nowhere else to go except down onto the floodplain closer to the river. These Victorian houses risk getting flooded every winter. Building on a floodplain also changes the way the land works, a fact that isn't always understood. When rain falls on open countryside, the ground acts as a big sponge, soaking up a lot of the water. But when the land is built on, the paving and tarmac stops water seeping into the soil. Instead of the water ending up in the soil, it's swiftly drained through pipes into the river. That's okay in normal conditions, but when it's very wet, the extra runoff can tip the balance, causing a river to flood. The situation is really serious and at the moment no one seems to have an answer.